All this is Dr. Mubeen Sayyid from drbean.com. Welcome to one more show. Today, we are going to talk about Kivana's vit vitamin D kit. So today, what we did was we received six, five kits from Kivano, and these were for demonstration purposes only. These kits are actually not approved in the US, so they're not available here. But they were kind enough to send me those for demonstration and demonstration to you purposes. So here is that kit. And I'm going to play you a, a video as well for the Kivano's, uh, uh, this kit's behavior. Because the app could not be downloaded in the US, they had actually sent me a phone with it as well, which had their app, Kivano app, pre-installed on it. I hope you can see this. So now let us look at uh, how this works. So a few, I'm going to share a couple of videos, and then we would discuss how the vitamin D level by Kivano test works, and then we'll we'll discuss it as well. So once again, welcome. I, I want to spill the beans first. I want to tell you what happened. Uh, I tested three people, and I don't want to disclose their information for a privacy reason. I would disclose my own. I tested myself using Kivano's kit and my vitamin D. What do you think? What was my vitamin D level? What do you think? So 30 nanogram per milliliter is the normal level, correct? 40 nanogram per milliliter and above is a good level to have the mortality rate reduced. And uh, anything below 20, 30 nanogram per milliliter is really bad, correct? So Carolyn here says, Mbol says 50. And remember, I've been taking vitamin D. Carolyn says 19. <laughs> Javier says 169, 50, 60. Then there is another. Javier has changed it to 19, 48, 75. And I'm assuming nanogram per milliliter. And then Barbara says 19 nanograms per milliliter. GMT says 35 nanogram per milliliter. And sadly for me, it was 19 milligram per milliliter. So many of you were correct. And that is a really <clears throat> sad and bad thing. But this is a wake up call for all of us that I have been teaching about vitamin D. I have been stressing about it. I've been taking about it. Here is my vitamin D level, my vitamin D um, intake thing. And with this vitamin D, I take magnesium, potassium, and aspartate. And I have calcium separately. Plus, I take vitamin K2 as well. So if you see here, K1, K2. So I take all of them. And even then, my vitamin D level was 19 nanogram per milliliter. Another person that I tested, she had 29 milligram per milliliter. Another person that, so the age, my age, 50 and above. I'm in that range. Another person I tested 40 and above. She was 29 nanogram. Then I tested one of the younger people below 30 and think about the uh, vitamin D level. What do, what do you think? A person below 30 years of age, vitamin D levels, tell me. What do you think? Six nanogram per milliliter, six nanogram per milliliter. Although the study that we saw in from Iran that was uh, the data was processed by Boston University's professor. That study said that everybody who is below 40 years of age and whatever is their uh, vitamin D levels, they actually survived. It was the people above 40 years of age. And if their vitamin D levels were not correct, they had a problem. And especially those who were who had the uh, the ones that did better, they were the ones that had vitamin D level greater than 40 nanogram per milliliter. Below that, the death rate was higher. So the these three people that I talked about, I am a male, the other person, 29 nanogram per milliliter female, then the third person is a male as well. I feel that I am the most at risk. Females have less uh, risk of uh, severe COVID-19. Then 30 years and younger, they, have a, they usually are asymptomatic regardless of whatever their vitamin D levels are. And then I am the one who actually has I do not have any comorbidities, but still 19 nanogram per milliliter vitamin D level is such a bad level that if I get caught by COVID today, I have 
I might face at some very severe consequences. So I have to improve myself as well and make sure that it works. And tell me, tell me this, do you realize... <laughs> Do you realize the importance of vitamin D testing? That I've been taking vitamin D for months now. And even then, I do not know that my vitamin D levels are not correct. So with this, let me now show you how this uh, test kit works. This is my, so this is the test kit that they had sent, vitamin D test kit. In this test kit, <laughs> my apologies, so they have this uh, little pouch here. It contains a vitamin D test uh, thing like this, which is the one, I'm, I'm sorry, it is not showing up clearly. So this is what is contained in a pouch like this. Two, then they have, they have a small packet. This packet contains, do you see this blue thing here? This is the enzyme. This is the lancet to, to prick the, the finger. And this is the pipette with which you draw the blood. And then you mix this blood into this enzyme and then you test it. It takes about 15 minutes to test that. And this was actually, this is my done test. This is mine. So if you see here, there are two lines. The C is for control and then the T is for the test. And when you read that with their app, the app would then tell you what is the level of vitamin D. So that is how it works. Let's now start and look at a few videos where I'm, I'm demonstrating the vitamin D level. I uploaded that on YouTube as well separately, so you can watch it there too, but I'm gonna show you that over here as well. So first of all, here is a fan video. So this is uh, by AC Lion Productions. <clears throat> Video's title is Dr. Bean, although it should be B-E-E-N, Dr. Bean versus Mr. COVID. So check this out. <laughs> I love this one. So this is awesome. So thank you very much uh, for this production. Now, this is the video. So let me just very quickly show you how this works and please tell me if you, you are able to see this uh, video's screen. So here is the test and the fawn with it. And so what you do is you pick up this pouch and this uh, little pocket, this packet that they send in the packet, they have uh, these, uh, these things. So if you see here, the, those blue, one of the blue one has the enzyme in it. The other one is a pipette. And then the yellow one is the lancet with which you collect the blood. So you start their app and the app guides you through the process of testing. So the very first time when you start the app, it would say, um, so down here, let me show you. Actually, I'll show you later. The app would say, please clean your finger. And then it would say, uh, puncture the finger. So if you see here, I am doing that process in guidance with the app. So I have this finger I'm pricking now, and then there is blood there. And then the first drop is removed and the next drops are picked up in the pipette. Then that pipette is inserted into this uh, enzyme and bottle. It, and then shake it so that the blood and the reagent, they are mixed. And so now they are mixed. So then you mix that blood and reagent, and then, then what you do is, after shaking it, you continue and you take the vitamin D uh, test out of its pouch. So here is the vitamin D test. You take it out, put it here, and then what you do is you remove this cap from it remove this cap and then drop three drops, three to four drops onto this thing. So I'm going to do it now. So one, two, three, four. So they say so four, three to four drops of the... Then as we continue <clears throat> now, there is a 15 minutes incubation time after which the, uh, the 
test over here would show us the results. So I'm gonna meanwhile pick up these things. And now we'll wait for this timer to expire. I'll test over here is, is uh, developing. So if you'll see here very soon, the, 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 the volunteers test result is 19 nanogram per milliliter, 29 nanogram per milliliter, which is almost at the normal range. It is 30 nanogram per milliliter is the normal range. Okay, so <clears throat> what I need to do in this video is that I need to, uh, the last part of the video, I was supposed to show you the app itself. So I'm going to redo this part. The app was not showing up. I'll redo it and I'll re-upload it. But that is what happened. And now a little bit about Kiwano. This is the Kiwano's website. It is in an Austrian company, Kiwano on Crunchbase. Here they have raised $8.4 million so far. They were founded in 2014. And they are working on these kind of tests that let you know what your health is Kiveno has been producing this test and if you look at here you can actually purchase this vitamin d test from them it is 39 euros and that is how this test would work then uh, as we talk more about the vitamin d i have put this link out there as well and this link is about the vitamin d and magnesium what happens is that vitamin d is necessary to activate magnesium and then magnesium it in turn helps vitamin D as well with its metabolism. So when you are taking vitamin D and look who's talking, I need vitamin D as well and correct levels. But anyways, when you're taking vitamin D, uh, make sure that you take magnesium and calcium with that as well. So this is magnesium daily intake of magnesium a recommended mag magnesium intake is 325 milligram per day. Do not exceed from that. And then calcium intake is also important. And here is a small daily requirements. I have discussed this in the past as well with age 19 to 50 years, 1000 milligram, 51 to 70 years, 1000 milligram, 71 and older, 1200 milligram. Women 19 to 50 years, 1000 milligram of calcium we're talking about and women 51 and older, 1200 milligram of calcium. So when you are taking vitamin D, please make sure that you take vitamin K2, you take calcium and you take magnesium as well. So this is the basic discuss discussion for today. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I share what I have seen. I'm just gonna answer a couple of questions and then we stop. This is what I wanted to do. My recommendation to everyone, after looking at my own, numbers after taking vitamin d's for so long is please get your tests done in the us there is a company called everly well they do at home test and what the, what that is is that you can take the blood sample and send it to them and they would then test it in the lab and then send you the results back and then of course there are a test done at your own annual physical as well and these tests are, at least for the vitamin D, these tests are not expensive, anywhere from $30 to $60, $70. And imagine that helping vitamin D, correct vitamin D levels really help with your health during COVID-19. So this is what I have today, not a very long lecture. I wanted to show you the vitamin D. I'm going to upload that video once again. The last part was missing the app's behavior. So I'm gonna put that up. All right, any comments? And we have done this discussion in the past as well that folks who are obese, they need to take more vitamin D than regular, about 1.5 times more. So if I need, let's say, 1,000 units per day, then they would need 1,500 units per international units per day. So Lorette, Dylan, this is very important. Something that we fail to recognize is the effect and effect, effect and effect of the diet has on bioavailability and absorption of supplements at the cellular level. So of course, uh, absorption is a problem. So I don't know if my problem is 
I'm not able to absorb well, or if my problem is that my liver is not able to metabolize it, or my kidneys not able to metabolize it, or just that I was so deficient in vitamin D that now that I'm taking it, the levels have still not gone up. So Javeria says that if you get COVID, you're under 15 and absolutely. So at least for me, I am under actually even sufficiency level. So I am in the insufficiency level. So Barbara says, I'm hoping Dr. Bean will get another test and share results. I actually have three more kits from them. So I'm going to try once more just to see if it is really 19 or that first one had an error. But uh, And I'm also going to check my annual physical uh, test results as well. Yes, there is. Susan says that there is everly well male in test as well. Correct. And finally, my last comment, and then I'm going to hang up. I'm going to stop. And that is that I wish that we all get treatment early. So looking at my own vitamin D levels, I'll be worried. And so I'll hope that if I get COVID, I'm not asked to just wait at home for the next two weeks till I become bad. And I'll be given similar um, drugs as President Trump early on, or I'll be given the aggressive treatment early on. So that, I think, should be for everyone. Absolutely. So uh, Dr. Alexander uh, Vasaras, a good friend from Greece, is saying it is not just that the absorption may be wrong in me. Maybe I have some other underlying um, thing going on, which is eating up the vitamin D fast. Absolutely. So Javier says that you can try 50,000 IU in the uh, injection form. Absolutely. The the thing is, what, what is interesting is taking the vitamin D, I thought that I'm fine. That is what I want all of us to kind of keep in mind, that just taking vitamin D and not doing the test and assuming that I'm doing fine because I'm taking so much vitamin D may not be the right outcome. So JVS says the first thing we do in my clinic for COVID patients is 100,000 IU D3 injection. Excellent. So Carolyn, I take 10,000 international units almost every day. Sometimes I skip them, but almost every day. Cool. So this is the discussion for today. Thank you very much for joining. I would see you on Monday. Tomorrow is my off. I'm going to try to get some vitamin D between now and Monday, and we'll go from there. I'm going to upload the video once more. So please ignore the video that you just watched, and I would upload the uh, video, and then please watch it. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Stay safe and healthy. Get your vitamin D levels. Get them at the right levels, and let's stay safe and protected. Bye-bye.